I'm Jason Hatfield with Hatfield Manufacturing. We'd like to introduce our 500 gallon mix vat to you today. This is an all stainless steel vat. As you can see, it runs twin agitators with scale system and a digital temperature display. On this side, on the, on the controls here, all of them come with a main power disconnect for safety in the event it has to be serviced. Comes with a Cardinal Model 190 digital display and a digital temperature meter that is low in the tank to monitor the temperature. Here we have a high speed agitator, a low speed agitator, and the discharge pump that is set up to discharge to fill the bottles. So now we'd like to show you, this, this is the 500 gallon vat we showed you earlier in the controls, and now you're going to see the bottle trailer and the seven hole fill manifold. Uh, the pump is running. This manifold is going to fill the bottles in around 10 seconds, seven of them, and I'll show you that now. That's all it takes to fill seven bottles. I'll demonstrate the flow coming out of the manifold here. Uh, I'm just going to turn it on to dump the water. It, the pump gets with it pretty good. Uh, like I said, you should be able to fill the bottles rough, roughly 10 seconds. We do offer different size manifolds, everything from three up to 14. Some other features we offer on this tank, like we talked earlier, is, is the Storm 190 Cardinal uh, just digital scale. Um, we, it can be programmed so that different weights, it turns from red to green, things like that, to help your employees know that they're getting the right amount of product. We have a, a pump down here, and this is where all the valving is. This valving here, uh, if, if I turn it up, is going to turn on the CIP, turns on the spray ball inside the tank to wash it. So you don't, you don't need to reach in there with a scrub brush. It's going gonna, it's gonna to wash and rinse the inside of the tank for you by simply closing that valve, opening this valve, then you go back to the, the filling manifold um, to fill or wash the manifold as well. To drain the system after wash is simply removing this cap here and clamp and it will drain everything out of the tank and out of the pump and you're ready for next time by simply putting the cap back on and starting your fill process again. Okay, so we want to show you the agitation that takes place in this tank. It's very aggressive so that we can mix the powder into the liquid very quickly. I'm going to turn on the agitators and add red food coloring so you can see it disperse throughout the water. As you can see, the water is turning kind of a pinkish red color. We've only put in one small bottle of food coloring, but as you can see, the agitation is, is very quick, very aggressive. Okay, so here we wanted to tell you a little bit about the features that come on, on all of our tanks. We offer three ports through the top cross member, and that's so you can put hot and cold and concentrate or cleaning or anything in. It gives you a, a way to access the tank without having to cut through the lids. We run a high speed agitator here and a low speed. They are all wash down rated um, to, to hold up the best we can to the corrosive environment. This particular tank does have lids all the way around. Um, you can get the tank without lids if you do not want them. Uh, these lids just unbolt, simply unbolt if they do need to be removed to get in the tank for some reason. Obviously, this, this is the access hatch to uh, check uh, levels as well as add powder, minerals, uh, things like that. Um, everything is stainless steel construction with the exception of the motors. Like I say, they are white washed down epoxy rated uh, motors. Um, all the controls are can be 230 volt. Uh, three phase, 480 volt, three phase, or single phase. As long as we know in advance, we can build the vat accordingly. We use Cardinal load cells. They are a stainless steel load cell. 
Uh, there is three of them on the tank, so the tank always sets even. We do offer the tanks in different diameters and different heights. We try and make all of our tanks about the height you see here, which is about 36 inches, so that there's no need for stairs, um, things like that platform, so your employees are not having to step up and down to make loading bagged powder as easy as possible.